Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and in today's video, I'm going to be creating an eye look with a newer palette here in my collection. I've had this now for close to two weeks. It's just been sitting on my shelf waiting for me to get it out and use it. And today, the day has finally come, and I'm so excited. So this is the Murky Waters palette from Ladybug Glow. Now, Ladybug Glow is a U.S. indie brand that I found on Instagram within the last couple of months. I had seen several people using their palettes uh, on YouTube and also just posting pictures on Instagram, and I was like, hmm, what is this brand exactly? So I did go to the Ladybug Glow page, Instagram page, and I followed it and started looking at their pictures, and I was like, Ooh, lovely. And then I went to their Etsy shop and was like, okay, I am sold. I got to get myself one of their palettes. And I picked this one up. I love the packaging, the mermaid, the pond fronds, and then the fish here. Uh, this does say Murky Waters Lady Bug Glow, and it says eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. So let me show you this amazing color story. It is a gorgeous. Look at how cool that is. Very unique color story. We have four mats down here. This one is called Lagoon. It's a, kind of a darker green, foresty green mat. Then we have Seaweed, which is obviously a lighter green mat. Then we have Flounder, which is the sequin uh, mat. It has the shimmers in it that don't always stick around, which that's okay. Uh, this is called Flounder. Did I say that? <laughs> Beautiful blue shade. This is called Treasure, a dark brown mat. And then we have these amazing duochrome shimmers up here. This one is called Merman. It shifts from like a teal to a blue. This is called Atlantis. It shifts from a like light purple to a green. <gasps> Then we have shellfish, which is kind of a reddish brown, shifts to kind of a light blue, it looks like. Huh, I'm using that one today. And then this one is called Murky Waters, and it shifts from blue to purple. Oh, just amazing. And I, I'm pretty sure I know what mats I'm going to be using, but as soon as I saw that uh, shimmer shade, I'm like, I got to use that on my lids today. I got to do it. And just really excited to finally be using this palette. And uh, I will have the link to the Etsy shop, the Ladybug Glow Etsy shop in my uh, description box. So you guys can go check it out if you're not familiar with this brand. They have some beautiful eyeshadow palettes, some lip products. I think I saw that they're going to be having some blushes uh, soon uh, on their Etsy shop too. So <laughs> really excited to get some more stuff from this brand. Uh, the brand owner also threw in a little single hair. This is called Mossy Olive. And let me show you the actual uh, single hair. Beautiful satiny shimmer shade. It's just gorgeous. And I'm sorry for the state of my nails. They're a mess. I've just been under a lot of stress. And I just started picking my nail polish off the other day. And just haven't had time to sit down and take off my nail polish. I'll explain a little bit more about that while I'm filming my eye look today. So if you guys are ready to watch my look come together with me using the Murky Waters Palette from Ladybug Glow, an amazing U.S. indie brand, ah, then please sit back, relax, and let's get started. So let's get into this look using the Murky Waters palette from Ladybug Glow. I do have my brows done. Of course, this eyelid is primed, as it always is, in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. Okay, so let's look at this palette. And I think what I'm going to do is start off with Treasure, this darker brown matte. Put that in kind of like my outer V into my transition area. And then I want to deepen up the outer V with this shade here. And then this shade's going across the lid. And then I don't know, I might put the flounder on the lower lash line. I don't know. I, I could use a combination of two shimmers. But the thing is, is when you take multi-chromes and you push them all together, you kind of lose the specialness of them. And I really want that specialness to show in that shellfish shade. So I'm just going to share, share. So I'm just going to use that today. <laughs> Jeez. So let's get into treasure and I'm going to start putting this down on my lid. Uh, I am a little out of sorts today. I mean, I'm okay, but a little out of sorts. I had a massive, massive ocular migraine yesterday. That was a doozy. And I just had one, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And I don't usually have them this close to each other. You know what I mean? Like the last time I'd had an ocular migraine before my last one, it had been probably like two years, I think, maybe even longer than that since I'd had one. So it's pretty rare for me to have them this close together. Uh, but yeah, it was just awful. Uh, and the last time I had my ocular migraine, the one I had uh, a little over a month ago, I, I drove home, uh, which I should not have done that. That was really stupid. I ended up having to pull over in the Verizon parking lot and get myself together kind of, uh, cause you can't see very well when you have an ocular migraine. Uh, what will happen is that this eye, my right eye, it's always the culprit. Uh, I will get this like electric light looking shape. Uh, it's usually shaped like a kidney bean. Yesterday's it was shaped like a blown out W. And I just can't see very well uh, through that weird light shape. 
So, I mean, I can see, but I, I can't see pieces of something I'm looking at. Like if I'm looking you in the face, uh, there's gonna be a part of your face I can't see, if that makes sense. But I can see the other parts around you or around that little shape thing that's going on in my eye. So yesterday I was just sitting at my desk and uh, just working on stuff, typing something. And I looked at my computer monitor and there was a bunch of letters I couldn't see. And I'm like, oh no. And so I basically just stopped what I was doing and I put my head down uh, in my arms. And just real quickly, this is a beautiful brown mat. It's very pigmented. It's blending out beautifully. Love it. Uh, anyway, I put my head down in my arms and just kind of let it do its run its course, my little shape thing, because uh, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for that to like go through its little cycle. And what it does is it just kind of slowly moves across my field of vision uh, to my peripheral vision and it just kind of dis dissipates, disappears. And then I just get a scorching headache. And yesterday it was awful. And it's mostly on the left side of my head. When my right eye gets affected, which is typically what happens, the left side of my head just starts pounding. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. I, I can't stay here at work today. And my boss and my coworkers were both, all of them were like, yeah, get out of here. You don't need to be here. That's ridiculous. So I called my daughter. Uh, she's home with but baby. And I said, hey, can you come pick me up, take me home? And she's like, of course, mom, I would love to do that. Uh, she was just getting ready to go to the park with little Betty and her best friend and her best friend's little boy. And the park's just right down from my, my house. So that's great, you know, on her way. So she came and picked me up and took me home. Now, the thing that is weird about this whole situation is that my speech gets affected, which that's scary. Uh, not necessarily that I can't speak. Well, okay, it's not really my speech that gets affected. It's my thought processes when I'm trying to talk. Like for instance, my coworker before I left, she said, have you taken anything for your headache? And I said, yes. Uh, one of my other coworkers had brought me some Tylenol and then I all brought, in, brought me some Tylenol. And then I also will take a leave because that really helps kind of calm my headache down. And I was trying to tell her that I had taken a leave and I could not think of what it was called. I'm like, uh, I took, uh, uh, so I had to dig out the bottle out of my purse and show it to her. And she's like, are, are do you need to go to the hospital? And I'm like, no, I don't. I'm okay. Uh, you, you can have like neurological type symptoms when you have an ocular migraine. It does not mean you're having a stroke, but I, I did kind of, you know, you kind of start thinking, am I having a stroke? Uh, you know, that's what my mom passed away from. So that f freaks me out. Uh, anyway, so my daughter came and got me and took me home. I think I already said that. And I just came upstairs, came up here right over there is where my room is right next door to this room and slept for about, oh, I don't know, for three and a half hours. And then my husband got home from work, checked on me and I slept for like another hour and a half. Woke up and uh, well, just feeling kind of out of it, but my head felt a lot better. Drank a bunch of water, ate some toast. My appetite was kind of, and just you know went on with my night and then went to bed really early and slept really good last night. I feel very rested today. Okay, so now that that shade's laid down and it looks gorgeous, I will go around that edge with just a plain brush, just kind of tone that edge down. Uh, but now I want to go into this shade here called Lagoon. <laughs> this dark green matte shade and put that in my outer V into my transition area just a little bit. So like I said, I don't typically get them this often, uh, but I have been under a lot of stress lately. My dad is dealing with some illness stuff that I've mentioned a little bit here on my channel. Uh, and it just always freaks me out whenever he starts going through that kind of stuff. I just get really like panicky. Uh, he had a really severe cold that did a real number on him and that was not fun. Uh, and then, you know, work's stressful. There's just a lot of stuff going on at work and I just get really stressed out. And I tend to carry the weight of the world on my shoulders and I really try not to do that, but I mean, I've done it my whole life. So it's like, okay, how do you just stop doing that? But I really do need to stop doing that because it's obviously affecting me physically because I am stressed out all the time about stuff. And I, I do think I have high blood pressure uh, I have had a little bit of high blood pressure in the past, nothing that they felt like they needed to medicate, but you know, a little bit of like my doctor thinking, you know, at some point you might need to get on some kind of medication here because if this continues to go up, uh, you know, we're gonna wanna deal with it. Uh, but the last time I went to the doctor, my blood pressure was okay. So I don't know, I don't know. Uh, also, I drink way too much coffee when I'm at work and that really messes with me. You know, I need to chill out with the coffee. <laughs> Uh, but I love coffee. I love it. But I do think that it messes with my, you know, 
system, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so now that that's laid down, I love that shade. I do want to blend that out a little bit because it's looking a little harsh. So I'm going to go back just barely into Treasure and just blend that edge out right there just to make sure that doesn't look so harsh. And I definitely think this looks like murky waters. You know what I mean? Like this is a murky water combination of shades. Love it. So I don't know if any of you guys uh, experience ocular migraines. I know I've talked about this before and I know some of you said that you had, but you know, if you didn't watch that last video, maybe you wanna chime in here too and let me know if you have ocular migraines because they suck, they really do. Okay, so now that we've murked that up a little bit, let's go into this shade right here. This is called Shellfish and it's kind of this, I don't know, like reddish brown to light blue flip. <gasps> and I'm really hoping you guys can see it in my camera. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, even after I got up, and was talking to my husband, my husband was like, you sound weird. Like you sound like you're having a tough time talking. And I'm like, I, I kind of am. This is very smushy. I gotta be very careful with this shade here. And actually, you know what? Let's try it with the brush and then I might go over it with my finger. Cause this seems like it might be one of those shades that works better with a finger. We'll see. I'm gonna spray this a little bit and let's just see how this, oh, it looks so pretty on the brush. Let's see what this does. <laughs> oh yeah, that is stunning. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. It does have this beautiful light blue fairy wing color to it, but then it's also got that kind of reddish, brownish, pinkish. I, I don't know what that color is, it's amazing, but I am gonna go in with my finger just because I feel like it's gonna apply better with, oh yes, that is stunning. And you could use this as a topper shimmer too, you could, but I do think this is beautiful enough to stay, or you know, like pigmented enough, uh, dynamic enough to stand alone. Ooh, gorgeous. It's a very soft, smushy shade. I love those kind of shimmers. They're so fun. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, ho, ho. look at how cool that is. I don't know if you guys can see the flip. Can you see it? I, I don't know. But man, it's gorgeous. It's like that light blue and it's got like a purpley pink. It almost looked kind of like a reddish brown in the pan, but on my lid, it looks like a purpley pink shift. Oh man, this is gorgeous so happy that I found this brown on Instagram and ordered this palette. Now I'm gonna have to get all their palettes. <laughs> so I think I'm pretty much good with that, but I do have kind of a weird edge there. So I'm gonna go back into Lagoon and just kind of mush that out a little bit so it's not quite so harsh looking. But yeah, that is just stunning. I do have some fallout down here, but it's okay. I'll I'll clean that up when I go off camera and do my other eye and my face makeup and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm just hoping to get through my day today and just, you know, come home and rest. That's my goal, just to be calm today, not let my stress meter get in the red. Oh, I just love the combination of the murkiness and then that, bam, that beautiful shimmer shade. Oh, I love it. So I am pretty much done with this look. That was pretty quick. So what I'll do, of course, is go off camera, do my other eye, the rest of my face makeup, my finishing touches, dry my hair, put myself together a little bit more here, and I'll come back and show you how everything came together. I'm back. This is the finished look. And I'm telling you right now, I am madly in love with that eyeshadow palette. It may be one of my favorite palettes that I have in my collection now. And I know I only have used it once, but I'm telling you, it is absolutely amazing. The shimmer that I use, the mattes that I used, oh, love it. Uh, and I will show it to you again and we'll talk about it again. But before I get there, let me show you just a few things I used for my finished look today. Uh, for my lower water lines, I lined them with the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in Keep On Sapphire. This is a really nice uh, waterline eyeliner. Stays really well in the waterline. It's got kind of a metallic finish to it. Really pretty and very affordable. You can find these pretty much anywhere they sell Milani products. And then uh, for my upper lid liner, I did use the Ciate London Fierce Flicks in black. Hadn't used this in a while. They're still you know, quite a bit of product still left in here, uh, fortunately. Uh, I just knew I needed something pretty bold to go over the top of that shimmer shade because that shimmer shade is very dynamic. And it, it did work pretty, pretty well. I don't know that I needed to line my upper lids, but I did. And this did, like I said, it worked fine. Uh, and then for my lips, I used a combination of two things. I did use the MAC Bullet Lipstick in the shade Move Your Body. I just wanted something uh, dark, dark brown on my lips to kind of go along with the dark brown that's on my eyelids. 
Love this bullet lipstick. And then I topped that with the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Give Me Mocha. And I did this just to kind of tone the brown, not make it look maybe a little bit more murkier since that's the name of the palette, Murky Waters. And also because I love my dear friend and subscriber, Dawn. This is one of her favorite lip shades, lippies. And so every time I use this, I always think of Dawn. So Dawn, this one is for you. All right, so now let's talk about this incredible eyeshadow palette, the Murky Waters from Ladybug Glow. I love it. I'm so happy that I chose this shimmer shade to put across my lid today. It's called Shellfish. It is amazing. Very multi-chrome. There's blue, pink, purple, kind of a reddish brown, and it looks so cool in different lights. Like I, when I went downstairs to dry my hair, I was looking at myself in the mirror, and I mean, as I moved around, you could just see the shift in color so beautifully. I mean, it's amazing. And the mattes that I used are, are gorgeous too. This shade here called Lagoon, I, I loved it. A very pigmented, blended well. And I did pop a little bit of this on the outer part of my lower lash line. I did put Flounder on the inside of my lower lash line. It's a beautiful blue shade, very pigmented and worked really well on my lower lash lines. And then this shade here called Treasure, I use that kind of in my outer V in my transition area. Blended out beautifully, very pigmented. I really do think that my look says murky waters, you know. We got the blue shifty watery stuff going on with the shimmer and then the murkiness of the mattes that I chose. And I cannot wait to use all of the shades in this palette. The rest of the shimmer shades, the shade right here. Oh, so happy that I came across this brand on Instagram and picked up this palette. I'm going to get more from this brand. I, I have to. I mean... This is so amazing. I will have their Etsy shop linked in my description box. Please go check out the shop or the brand, the, the products and see what you think. Because uh, yeah, very impressed with how that palette performed. It's gorgeous. I just, you know, like you put your makeup on some days and you just feel like, yeah, watch out world, here I come. And this is one of those days for me. Forget about that stupid ocular migraine I had yesterday. I am in it to win it today with an amazing eye look on, at least I think anyway. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing. Smash that like button and of course, comment down below in the comment section because I just thoroughly love to chat with you guys there. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will be seeing you soon. Bye. Drop it.